Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm using Orbit to give the start stop system a memory so it remembers the last setting instead of resetting every time you start the car. I'm sitting in the car with my laptop. The ignition is turned on and I've already connected the car to the laptop through the OBD port. So let's jump into Orbit and get started. And now, once I'm inside Orbit, I'll click on connect. If this is your first time using the software, you'll need to create a profile first. It's just one button and Orbit does it automatically. And as always, you'll need your CEM pin from the seller to be able to make any configuration changes. Next, I go into the configurations and search for the start stop setting. The one we're looking for has ID 271 and it's currently set to without memory. That means the system resets every time you start the car. I'll change the setting from without memory to with memory. This allows the start stop system to remember the last setting you used. Now I'll click right to car. A confirmation window pops up showing the current setting and the one we're about to apply. Everything looks correct, so I'll press OK to proceed. The flashing process starts here and the car may make some clicking or buzzing sounds. That's completely normal. I'll speed this part up so you don't have to wait. And that's it, the log shows that the ECU flash was successful, so I'll go ahead and disconnect Orbit. So I'll switch over to the car now to check the new setting. Alright, so we have given the start-stop function a memory now. So when I turn it off, it should rem remember its last setting every time I shut the car off. So I'll go ahead and shut it off and drive the car for a bit. And then I'll start the car again and see if it remembers its last setting. Alright, so I'm now back inside of the car, so let's start it up and check if the start-stop function remembers its last setting. And it's off, just like we left it. So I know that many people doesn't like the start and stop function, including myself, which I turn it off every time I get inside of the car. So this is a way through the Orbit program to give it memory, so you don't have to turn it off manually every time. And if you have any questions about this video, then please put them in the comments below. And as always, please like and subscribe. Thanks.